Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and welcome to another Dirty Room. On this episode, we're headed to the Big Easy and checking into the Midtown Hotel, an affordable family hotel featuring New Orleans-style architecture and a grimy pool. Let's have a look at some of the reviews. Over on Google, Jacques Miller gives the Midtown five stars and says, dollar for dollar, a fun and fantastic hotel while in the Big Easy. Karen Gorley also gives it five stars and says, second time I have stayed there, I love it. Barbara Perkins has had a completely different experience, saying, unfortunately, my stay isn't over yet. The absolute worst hotel experience I've ever had. One of the pillows had what looked like boogers, and there was something resembling semen dripping down the bathroom door. Nick Shamala says, horrible hotel, bad service, unclean and unsafe room. The door to the room didn't close all the way and the AC didn't work and no security features, even simple as outside cameras. So what's the deal with the Midtown Hotel? Is it a fun, comfortable place with clean sheets and fresh coffee? Or is it a liquor-drenched Nolan's hellhole with dirt, filth, and thieves? Stick around and find out. All right, Rick, so we're headed to... Wait, where are we headed to? We're heading for someplace. I need a rest. To Midtown. Midtown. The Midtown? Yo, okay. Midtown. All right. That sounds great. It's in the it middle of New like, Orleans. It's the middle of the town, right? I mean, it's real. Oh, that is lobby. Very old school. Shh. Oh, it's a little, a little rough there. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. My right there. I booked one room, room 204, a standard room with two double beds, at a rate of $49 for the night. What's a guy wearing a plastic bag on his head? I don't know if I like this place, Daniel. <laughs> I want to go home, Daniel. The girl in the pool was wearing she was, no pants. She, took, she off, took off her bottle. She had like a sundress on. She, and she covered took her... Hoochie her hoochie with her, with her hand. hand as she got into the I don't want to go swimming in there. I'm going to get crabs. Oh, this oh, is nice. Oh, what lovely beds. It smells a little bit musty, but looks nice. Not bad, you know. Beds are made. Got a nice carpet. Nice little dresser here. Oh, man. Big screen television. Hey, everyone. It's Dan. Want to own a piece of Dirty Room history? Check out our latest keychains in stock now. We have Precious Purple, Blue Velvet, Tiki Birch, and One Night Stand Red Marble. Go ahead and head over to shopdanbell.com and get yours today. Also, don't forget about the podcast, exclusive videos, and dreamy quiet time over at patreon.com slash thisisdanbell. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Many thanks. And now on with the show. Rick! Yeah? What's wrong, buddy? Man, fuck it. Just fuck it. I'm gonna go back. I'll bring the truck and I'm gonna take the Uber. Fuck it. You what? Yeah. So, wait, what did you say? What, I couldn't hear you. I said, I'm ready to take an Uber back to the house and just wait until I get my plane. What? Wait, what? Yeah, I'm done with this shit. This place sucks. 
You don't have anything at these stores. You're fucked. You don't have any luminol. Fuck it. So have a great trip. Did you go to Walgreens, Rick? I went to two fucking Walgreens. Did you go to like a Rexall or something? They don't sell the shit. You gotta go to like... A... You know what it is. Rick, you gotta go to a grocery store and go in their I'm water section. Done. I'm done. Just, Rick, just come back to the hotel. <laughs> call me. You want me to call him again? Yeah. <laughs> so we're losing it currently. The, the show is going off the rails right now. Between the door and Rick. Oh boy. Leave me alone! <laughs> 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 Leave me alone! Hang <laughs> on. Did you get her? What's wrong? I don't ever want to come back to this town again. Now I'm definitely convinced. This Did place is not a place I would ever want to go. Is that distilled water? There's your batty batteries. That's it. There's your batteries. No distilled water, no shit, nothing. You told me to go to Walgreens. I went to two different Walgreens. Are you no. Okay? No. You should have brought the fucking bottle and the measuring cup and bought the water when you got here and not wait until we come here and it's fucking gonna be three in the morning before we're done now. Do you need a hug? No, I don't wanna touch you. Anymore. Go do it. Are you sure you don't need a hug? Don't don't touch me. I love you. Don't touch me, I don't care. I I, I don't want it. I don't want it. I love you. It's yeah. okay that you didn't get the luminol, Rick. We still love you and cherish you. Yeah. I failed. And I failed. Tell Rick you love him. He needs I our can't. support. I'm so sick and tired of the it. crap. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. This is all it's going to be. All about Rick. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> it's Rick's, Rick's, Rick's adventures. Weird. It's fucking yeah, all about Rick. Yeah, no, the best part is when we're recording you on the phone and you're like, Leave me alone! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, here we are, uh, finally. You know, nice. Rick, have you calmed down now? Are I'm, you okay? I'm okay. Oh, you that's had a good. Bit of a manic episode. I had. I just took a few pills. I'm fine. <laughs> we found some stuff on the corner, and uh, we gave it to Rick, and he's feeling a lot better. Now. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> good. So, what do we have here, Rick? Uh, it's a bathroom. What do you think? We have a bathroom, and uh, beautiful tile work. Well, maybe not too beautiful. I mean, that's oh no, of, it's kind of an interesting. What were they thinking? A square hole for a round pipe. What yeah. were they thinking with that? The oh, is it moving? No. Oh, well, that's a little bit of motion there. Oh, there you go. I got it. Look, you just have to work. Look at, at that. It. There. Look at that. I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently. Grout is optional because there's a wall behind this wall. Uh, yeah, look at how back far, here. Look at how far the tiles stick from the original. Here, let me show you. Stucco. Instead of this being on the surface, oh shit! It hangs out like a centimeter. And you can literally rip the tile yeah, don't, off. Yeah, don't break anything, Rick. But you can look see. Look at that. So all. Oh my! God, I look off. It's like an inch. There's like an inch gap. Look at that. Behind it. Look at that. My, my, oh, my, I'm all the way in there. That's where the uh, drug dealers would hide their crack. What's behind it? There's a wall? There's it's this. just a gap. They put the tile in. How did they tower. do that? They just put it over top of this. Hey, Rick, buddy, you want to do some uh, bacteria swabs? I think that's excellent because, just because it looks clean. All right, take off your pants. And uh, <laughs> we'll okay. get to work. We already did my bud crack, and it came up at 992. Ew. All right, we're going to swab under this light stand because we haven't stepped in this area. That's good. So we don't have uh So yeah, this will cool. give a nice reading to see if... There's a little splotch here, so I'm trying to get some transfer. So there's we're going to test this and see if the bath tub has been properly cleaned. cleaned. Here we are. What do you guys think it's going to read at? I'm thinking about a hundred. I'm thinking hundreds. Hundreds? Uh, I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to say 50. 50? Well, 36! Oh, 
So still dirty, not acceptable, but, but it's not the worst we've seen. Not as bad as it could be. It's, yeah. It's it's little dirty, not a whole bunch dirty, right? <laughs> it's only a little bit of uh, little bacterial bit colonies. So we're getting a nice four inch. Go where the crack of the ass would be. That's more of a... Like right around yeah. here? Yeah. Oh, the ass crack. Because that'll definitely tell you whether or not the toilet seat is going to Yeah, we, we might pick up some dingleberries. No, that's good, that's good. It's got a little bit of hair oh on it. Oh my god! That thing is, <laughs> ugh. Does it have hair on it? Yeah, oh, there was no. some hair on them. So now we're putting the reagent down, shaking it up, put it in the All right, tube. What is? what do you think it's going to be? Uh, I'm going to stick with 50. I'm going to say 300. I'll um, say 100. A hundred? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if they wipe these down. I doubt they wipe these down. We'll see. Here we come. One. One eighty-two. It hasn't been. Wiped. So yeah, that has not been cleaned, and there is clearly a lot. Toilet of seat was not wiped down. <laughs> and you know, I think sometimes they just come in with one rag. Yeah. And they, they do everything like the same. Oh, no, they the just help toilet. spread the contamination. Yeah, and they just spread it everywhere. So toilet seat is a fail. All right, so here we're we in the two-part bathroom. This yeah. is the outside, and that was the inside. They have an exterior. So this is like the pre-cum, and that's the actual cum. What? No. no. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, I mean, he must have heat exhaustion. Yeah, I mean, we have a new, a new soap. Room. Oh, a new soap that is an organic aloe, aloe vera. vera, organic natural pure. Citrus. So it can cure your sunburns oh when you're out in the New Orleans sun. And it's made in China by Diversified Hospitality Solutions. They're very diversified. So it's probably not organic and it's, it's made of plastic. Organic. And then we have some beautiful desert breeze. Desert breeze. Ooh. Conditioning shampoo. I could use a shower. From it's here. like a giant mint. Ew! <laughs> Oh my god, he's <laughs> tongue fucking the soap. It's, it's it's citrusy. It does smell. Let me see you. You take a little little nibble, of Dan. Oh no, no, no! It's horrible. I'm not gonna lick the part that you lick. No, smell. It smells nice. I thought he was gonna shove it up my nose. <laughs> so does it taste? I mean, what does it taste like? Is it, it tastes like it soap. soap. But no, does that? Would it have a, cit a citrus hint? Not. Let me try a little. Notes of citrus if you ate it. Me, Smelling it, yes. Let me try a little. little. Let me try that side. You licked that side. I know, I licked this side. Don't let, don't bite it. Don't bite it! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, okay, I got a little beat on my tongue. Alright, chew it. And, is there any notes, citrus notes? A little bit, but it tastes just like soap. Like it tastes kind of nasty. You don't want to spit it out, you're just going to swallow fucking soap. Get in there, baby. Come on. All right. Boy, these sink uh, things are great. I don't know about this time. Oh, yes. Well, just a little bit. But it was there. Some refuse. I thought you wouldn't find any, but oh, look at that. Dinner, our air thing is going off. You know what it looks like? It's like a guy with a very thin, hairy schlong. Ew! <laughs> I didn't need that visual, Rick. Thanks, All right, buddy. Well, uh, it, it is really time to move on to the bags. Yeah, our, <laughs> holy shit. Also, a side note, our air meter went off. It's at yellow now instead of green. Oh, no. We have air quality alert. Yeah, so the, after we stopped the filtration of the, uh, we turned off the AC, I'm guessing, the room's true colors, they showed. Thanks, Brian, for <laughs> segueing into the next segment. I don't know what's the source. Yeah, it's climbing and it's climbing high. We're in the red zone now. We were just in the yellow zone like two seconds ago. Oh geez, it's going from oh, no. serious, it was mild, now it's serious. Pollute serious, how did that happen? I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. This is the, which one's the like formaldehyde and 
That's uh, volatile organic compounds. That's what we got. So that's the the one that's red right now. Yes. So that's really serious uh, readings right there. As you can see, it is steadily climbing. All right, it is time for bed number one. I'm excited. What do you guys think, prediction wise? I'm telling you, my prediction: the mattress is going to be horrible, fucking horrible. I don't know. The sheets look clean. I think the pillowcases, although they're different brands. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, but go ahead. I think I think that it could be a pass. The bed could be a pass by the so. looks of it. I think so. But let's, uh, let's see what's between the sheets, baby. Oh, pillow is it, it's a little dirty. Not terrible. Oh, oh there's a little smudge. A little smudge of yeah. The pillow is kind of gross, to be honest with you. But I don't know. It's not. It's not horrible. It is moist though. It's so nicely packaged. Pull out the pillow. Oh, oh okay. There's the yeah. uh, the sauce we're used to. Little little speck here. Looks like a booger. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Some sweat stains. Other side, not bad. A little something here. Yeah, some mold. Here. Yeah, some That's drool. What that is. It's mold. I, I love how we're so used to all the fluids on these disgusting pillows that when they're only like semi disgusting, we're like disappointed. We're like, oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> not too bad. Oh, oh, something happened over there. Air quality mirror. Air, air quality's going off again. It's just about to hit the red zone. Yeah, hit the red zone for oh, organic boy. compounds. That's nice. So, I, I'm so glad oh we're breathing. Oh no! Oh, oh my god! What is that? Oh, that do you think is that's, that's feces? Like, fe fecally. That's like contaminated. Oh, liquid diarrhea there. It's like juice of a oh, honey my. hole. Look at all the sweat too. Oh, oh, oh no! Verging on almost being urine. So, too much. okay, who's gonna smell and see if it's Dookie? Your turn. Come on, you, you <laughs> smelled a clean looking pillow. I don't wanna... Be a man. Why do I always gotta smell the disgusting? You smell better than anybody. Your nose is so young. Mine's old. Go for it. Oh my, look at that, Dan. <laughs> Brennan, come on. Okay, okay. Tell, Please don't tell be us what smelly. We need to know. <laughs> oh my, what is it? It's poo. Yay! <laughs> Winner! Usually you want to put it in, but in this case. Well, it's it's bad. It's not as bad as the other one. I mean, the that's, whole. That's blood. Look at all the yellowing. I on guarantee here too. you that that is blood. Come on, that's oh. old. I don't know. Look Looks like that. blood to it, me. I mean, blood can. Well, we'll we'll lose all the pillows. Have mold spores. Okay. Oh, no. oh my god. It's so disgusting. You having a good time, Rick? <laughs> it sounds like it's... <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? It sounds like it's ready for action. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh! Uh, that's a nice oh, 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 oh. Do you think that's turd or do you think that's blood? It looks like wine. Like someone spilled their wine. Wine? Yeah. I could see that, like a nice rosé. Oh mm -hmm. my... We got there's yellowing. A, there's stains. Stains all along and here. And we got more stain. These. This is all urine. Look down at the bottom yeah. there. That label looks like. Uh, is it like quality in? <laughs> yes. Quality in and sweets. It says. Oh my gosh. That's an old ass label. Okay. Oh wait, is that flecking? Whoa. Uh 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 uh. Are you recording? Uh uh. Yeah. Uh. Back up. Back up. Back yeah. up. Yeah. That's flecking right Back now. Back up. I think that's bed bug flecking. I don't want to be sick. There, it's all along the base oh, too. Oh shit, it's right there on the head. Okay. Yeah, there's there's bed bug flecking all along the top here. That's exactly what it is too. Oh Rick. my God. Yep. These crevices though. Yeah, you gotta... Wait, is there anything in there? No, it's dried. So what we're looking at here, folks, and this is something you want to look for when you go to a motel or a hotel. Look at that. This is old bed bug. Is person. you want to look at the mattress. If you see these little dark spots, it is evidence of either a current or past colony bed bug infestation. Yep. This is all of their poop. 
So after they drink your blood, they crap they crawl all back over. into these crevices, and this is their crap. And they'll try. This is where they travel along. This right here. So they travel along this, and they poop along the way. And the this is one of their favorite hiding spots. Well, they usually hide. Oh my god, Dan! They'll go under Look here. They the usually oh, hide no. under the oh, tag. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, oh. it's not bad, but you can see. No, I just don't want to see any live ones yeah. start crawling out. Yeah. Pull the rest of the tag off. If I will scream if I see it. No, don't scream. Please. Just, just scream quietly to yourself. What was that? That's a bed bug. Oh my, that is a bed bug. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus oh my God. God. Christ, Rick. <laughs> Rick. Okay, it's right here. It got stuck to the bed. Yeah. Just so we don't drop it. Oh, I thought it was alive. No, it's not. It's Rick like comes hurtling over the bed. So here we bed got. <laughs> here we have a bed bug carcass. Oh, poor thing. And we it's. Uh, so that's what you would find with this one is dead. That was so. Papa Roach right there. So that's good. We don't want to break. That it. also looks like a hiding spot too. Yeah. Should be careful. Nice. Sorry. Let me. Oh, the the box brings hollow, so we'll be able to see when we pull it oh, up okay, to the other side. Okay, let's lift it up. But look, there's some stainage here. This looks like where the colony would have sat, right at the head yes, here. Yes, and that's yep. common. They get it the yep. head. Yep. Can see all the. Yep. Look at all that flecking. Yeah, and that's disgusting. It's all like yellowed here. You can see all yeah. the bug crap. We already and found. I guarantee you, the other bed is going to also have a infestation. Or past. Okay, bed number two. Wonder. Now let's say, are we gonna find bed bugs? I mean, there's a high chance. But these, if we don't, then these mattresses are probably from different rooms. Yes. Um, it's a good chance if they are the same mattresses that have been in this room. Yeah, I okay. think there's a high probability that we will find bed bugs. All right, let's begin. No. Oh, well. That's... Wow. The, the lines kind of confuse you. Like camouflage is What a same. jewel. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. Oh, that is just amazing. God. Compared to the previous I'm blown one. blown away. Oh, it smells so good. It, it does? I'm not. No, it smells like a stale pillow. But. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> it's multiple spots of horror. It had good old bugs. Look, it's got a spot here, a spot here, a, here. a spot there's a, there. There's a brown booger or whatever. Bob said it's butt crack on that. <laughs> right oh, there. Sorry. Bob, really? He was here? Yeah. Oh my god, what a disgusting disgrace. <laughs> well, Bob thought it was All the fucking idea. pillows in here have horrible to the actual the fitted, sheet. fitted sheet here. The mattress is the same as the other one, so I'm guessing there could be... But I don't see anything here on the edge. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, there's a little bit of flecking. I'm seeing flecking right here. Not as major. Hey, I, I can't see it, neither can the audience. <laughs> oh, let me describe it. It's okay, a couple little blackish please? marks. Look at... There's oh, it's worn rip, out. It's, there's brown, sp oh. brown <laughs> spot right there. Piss stains right here. But Piss look, stain right it's, there. It's like shredded. Yeah, yeah it, this it's is, literally it's so it's, old. It's from that it's literally just falling apart. Oh, look at the underneath. Yeah, there's lots. Oh my god, lots of there's flecking. flecking all over. Under the tag here, lots of droppings all along. This is disgusting. You're breathing this stuff in. So, do you guys think the box spring is going to be nice and clean or an absolute disaster? But Let's, judging by. The matching mattress. Yeah, the mattress. I was... can see they match. You can. This one is even worse than the other one. Well, let's show oh, the audience. Fine. Oh my! What? What is that? What is that? Baby what powder? What the fuck is that over there? Yeah, that's like tar on Rick's side. There's like spillage here. Which they is... put it's diatomaceous earth. They sprinkled earth. it on the fucking mattress. They sprinkled it all over the bed. All over the bed. So oh, that's how they dealt with the bed bugs. They just doused the thing in diatomaceous earth. <laughs> oh my god. What in the shit is I that? Know. Look at it. What is that dripped on there? It's sticky. It's like somebody had something coming out of their body. I think it's like tar. Like black I tar. I don't. You know what? Grab a heat stick. You think it's blood? Well, we could test it to see. It felt like sticky when I touched it with the glove. Oh, 
That's not, I don't think that's blood. It, it was like sticky. I think it could be tar. Could it be bile coming out of somebody's anus? Because <laughs> there are livers that just totally fall, fell apart in them. So that, and then this is hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Comes now, down. We'll, see what we we'll get. get a blue green, and we're and, yep, it is blood. Come on, you're that's blood. It? Look, yep. oh, oh yeah, that. that's a positive blue. So green that is, is blood. Positive. Very positive. That's insane. Th this is what happens when there is a positive test. That is really positive. Yeah. That's the greenest or bluest we've ever seen. So it turns this blue green, and that's positive. So that right there is blood. So you know what this does? This is reacting to the heme molecule in your red blood cells. Heme is what carries oxygen. Just sweating. Yeah, we have flecking here. Uh, as you can see along the bed here. Well, there's also a quarter. Limited edition, too. What luck? <laughs> Heads or tails? Oh. Bed bugs. <laughs> I dropped it. It's oh, bed wow. bugs! <laughs> Yeah, look, you can yeah, see. Yeah, you see more flecking. This place is, it's Horrible. not a current infestation. Look at this. I mean, look how rusted and old. Look, the, these the, beds are 35 years old. The frame is bent. It's like sitting they had, down. They had bed bug infestation. They're fucking disgusting. There's blood here on this decrepit box. Mattress. Thing. It's disgusting. These things are, they're horrible. I told you. I win! Dan wins! Dan wins! Oh, oh. look at the, the slats have been destroyed. It looks like they just put this groovy carpet in. I feel like I raided a uh, fucking carpet master from 1989. <laughs> I mean, look at this shit. Somebody well, broke that, and yeah. the other half is gone. Yeah, that's a beat stick. <laughs> that's a beat stick. So we had a little bit of an interesting find over here. As I was looking and investigating the stain on this wall, I realized it was a booger. But there's more to it than just that. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bed bug inside of the snot. Oh God. It's like a bloody snot, and there's a bed bug inside of it. So somebody. No. Some... The bed bug went for the blood in the snot. Yeah, oh, in the nostril. What happened? Oh the my God. Notice their blood. It smelt it, it went into the booger to eat the blood. Oh my oh, god. No. Oh <laughs> no, it really got wedged. Yeah, the person picked it out of their nose and- It had blood in it, and then the bed bug found it and got inside and probably got stuck in it. And flung oh. it onto the wall. Oh, oh my god. Oh, did it crawl up the person's nose and they I... picked it out, or did the person fling a bloody booger or wipe a bloody booger on the wall? No. And, per, and a, a bed bug, and a bed and bug went cut. up to it and fed on it, and then got stuck inside of it. It looked like the right, bed so bug was lodged in the booger. So my argument so is that many, somebody it got. It was what do sleeping. bed bugs do? They they, they find they, a spot on your skin. We've already shown this in a long, old episode from yeah. season two. And there's a lot of capillaries in the nose even. that carry blood. So, well, but you know they eat your blood, so they they find. The th a spot they yeah. can determine where is best to go, where artery or vein is. They can find that. Yeah. And then they, when they when they bite you with their biting, sucking mouth part, they secrete two products. One de uh, coagulates, and one is an anesthetic, so you don't feel it. Yeah. I don't think the booger felt. Well, anything. no, I no, I don't. What think I'm they... saying is, I think it was just a simple. The guy had a booger. He must no, have but picked his nose to the point that he irritated it enough, got a little blood in it. We had activity in here, and it was attracted to the blood. I mean, there was a nosebleed on that side of the bed. I don't know if it's correlated with the bloody booger, but I think the person had some blood in their nose. The bed bug sought it out, got stuck in their nose. They felt the bed bug crawling around in their nose, reached in, dug it out, and flicked it on the wall. Because if you look at the booger, Rick, this is this is my argument here. I'm listening to you, sir. If you look at the booger, the bed bug is solely lodged into the booger and facing, like its back is to the wall, facing outwards with its legs. Oh well. So I'm thinking the person picked the bed bug out of their nose and flung it on the wall. 
I think it's just too much to expect that the I think I want to stop this. speculating because I'm gonna my stomach You're gonna vomit. turning. <laughs> I keep feeling itchy too. Now I'm like paranoid that they're crawling all over me and it's gonna go up my nose. Well, I'm itchy and I'm sweaty and I'm disgusted and I just can't wait to get the hell out of here and thank you for playing with my nipple. It's almost like art. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the mattress has sores. <laughs> Sars or sores? We have both. <laughs> Oh my God, look at the, oh no. The whole mattress is just fruiting with mold. Ew. And you, this is where you're resting, this is where you're breathing in this air. Ugh. Oh, they're disgusting. That's horrible. Let's see if we get anything on the side here. Oh! oh. Give it a good spray. Holy crap. Make it light up. Do you think this is from bed bugs bleeding yep. or do you think this is from junkies? This is from bed bugs. Yeah, it's all from bed bugs. So when you have biting people, when you have bed bugs, this is what happens. It looks like the night sky. Like, look, there's the Big Dipper. Pretty good indication of activity there. That is absolutely the most disgusting fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. <laughs> That's all mold. Oh no, look at that. This looked like the better of the two. What happened? <laughs> look at the middle. Look, Why look. was it better than this look, one? Look, look at the giant urine. I mean, that's what oh, that is. A giant God. urine stain yeah. in the middle. It's crusty. It's, it's, it certainly has like a residue you can see. All right, we're gonna do a spray on the bed here. Let's give it all over to see if we get anything down here to get down here. All right. Up, up, up. There we go. Give it a good spray. There we go. So we're looking at right here. These are both. This you can actually you can see, see this. So these are blood stains right here. See that? That could have been somebody's period. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, it's horrible. Look That's, at it. You're laying in somebody's period juice. Ugh. Thank you. That's such a lovely term. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Brennan, for the... <laughs> That is beautiful. Uh, you're like you're like Walt Whitman here at the <laughs> Walt Whitman. All right, bring it back. Turn it off. Look at this, people. So that this is this is from work. this is from bed bugs. It's all bed bug related. Yeah, because it's because they're little cool, dots. It's just little little. So tons. they're just yeah, they're little things here. Now does this does they this here that we tested turn the light on? This is here what we tested. Does this actually? Does this light up with luminol? Turn it off. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that oh, is yeah. a strong positive. So that definitely is blood. There's, there's some vomit. Back of the door, door action. Probably vomit. I would say this is the CUM. Yes. Oh okay. no. Yep. Wonderful. Can I ask you to do one spot though. Yeah. There's something on the wall over there. Oh, the blood booger. The blood booger. With the dead bed bug inside. We think a booger actually attracted a bed bug and got inside and died inside. Go for it. See, it's right there, so I'm gonna spray it up. And oh, that's a, yeah. that's a positive yeah. bloody <laughs> bed bug booger. Oh, oh my oh god. Oh my god. god. It is the blood you booger. It. Is a blood booger. Oh, oh with the bed bug oh, trapped oh, inside. Oh, oh, oh my no. god. That is the best. It's horrible. That's <laughs> disgusting. We found one of the weirdest things we found. Oh, That's a great. booger with a bed bug okay. inside of it. <laughs> oh, oh no. God. All right, so we're going to check the remote control. And because of this hotel, of course, the remote will be called Cox. <laughs> what a stupid joke. <laughs> because of this hotel. What, are you gonna you gonna demonstrate why it's called Cox? <laughs> it really isn't easy to manipulate these little things with this kind of a surface, but maybe get in the I'm crack. telling you, I think that this is fairly clean. I would give this less than a look at the crack 50. here though. Crack where? Where the remote, where they welded the two pieces of plastic? You see all the grime in there? Well, just go ahead and give it a wipe, just to check. Because your hands are going to be touching that when you 
when you are using a remote, then do a swipe down the back where your hand would be holding it. Yeah. All right, are we taking bets? I'm gonna say 50. I'm gonna say 200. Rick? Less than 50. The toilet seat, what was the toilet seat? Like 83? 86 or something. 86. Okay, so the TV remote bacteria count is 159. 159. People put that in your head. And the maze. Digest. You could have a dirty cox in your hand and not even real, realize it. All it takes to Let me say that again. You could have a dirty cox in your hand and never realize it. I'm sure the Cox Corporation is going to love this little yeah. piece. <laughs> All you have to do to clean off this cock is take one little wet wipe and just right. wash it all down. You don't want to put it in your mouth. No, you never want to yeah. put it in your mouth. And never put it under running water because that would ruin the electronics. It would ruin the cock. The cock would become limp. <laughs> <laughs> it would start sparking. <laughs> <laughs> become it might not work again. That... Ew, what is that? Oh no, come on. What is that? Oh! Is Dan, that what I think it is? What is that? What do you think that is? I, I... Uh, oh no. Oh dear God, Rick, please. Please don't put it in your mouth. Toenail. No way. What? Piece of toenail, maybe? You'd have to be a part of like Davy Jones' crusty crew from the Pirates of the Caribbean to have a toenail like that. Oh my, okay. Okay. I, Rick, I Rick, hate please. It. <laughs> it, it, I hate it so much. Oh my. Welcome to New Orleans, baby. Oh. There's a bead. So like, either, they're too small. I can't pick them up. We found- Is that a love we bead? We did find a bigger one over by the bed earlier. That's a, there's that's no a tiny, love. a tiny hiney for that one. <sighs> Rick, that's like from a kid's bracelet. You're trying to make you up some dumb ass. That's what it was. Story. That's what it was. It was a love bracelet. A tiny, for a tiny little kid. Oh my. Ew! <laughs> you can't put that in the video. Oh, I will. <laughs> you are fucking sick. <laughs> it's so Sally's first love beads. <laughs> <laughs> But ah! <laughs> I'm so disappointed in you, Rick. All right, so um, we'll start with Rick. Uh, what is your rating, Rick, for oh. this fabulous suite? The beds, uh, when you go deep into them, you saw how horrible they were. Yes. We found evidence of bed bug activity. We found bed bugs in boogers with a side of bloody splatter all over the beds. Yeah, that is disgusting. Mold all around. My assessment, soft too. Show them the clipboard. Good point. Soft too. You got some drawings um, there too. You're getting hey. creative. Yeah, got bacteria. I mean, what are the bugs? What, but what are the pluses? What is the plus? Yeah. I'm no. getting ready to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but why doesn't it get? I mean, how does it get a soft two? Because well, Rick starts at a five and subtracts. Yes. Well, they do have a nice pool. A hard two would be almost a three to me. A right. soft two is almost a one. Okay. All right, Brennan, what is your rating? From getting flashed when we walked in, which was an unpleasant surprise. Oh, I like the booty call. Yeah, Rick was really thrilled, but it was kind of really disgusting. No, it was not. It was a nice looking ass. To getting locked out of the room, to getting trapped inside of the room with this AC that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to give it two a soft two bloody bed bug boogers oh, out of five. Oh, that's, that's the best one yet. <laughs> that one really is.
the best. <laughs> oh my Wonderful god, dripping I love it. Oh. with bed bugs in them. Uh, this one isn't difficult for me. You're what do you guys think I'm going to give it? Of course you're going to give it a one. one. It is disgusting. It's gross. It's Your I wouldn't standards sleep. standards are too high. Would you sleep on the bed? With Brendan's body. <laughs> <laughs> I can't answer that. The answer is no. Nobody in their right mind would no. sleep on these beds. If they replaced the mattresses and the box springs, I'd sleep on the bed. I wouldn't sleep on these beds. You couldn't pay me to sleep on the bed. You'd find evidence of bed bugs. I'm out of here. These mattresses are 30 plus years old. Yes. They should be in a fucking dumpster, not in a hotel room. They were probably found in a dumpster and so brought here. So the pillows were disgusting. The beds are unsleepable. You can't sleep in the beds. As far as I'm concerned, I would not sleep in the beds. That's the most important part for me. That a comfortable bed. But I think that this has really been so hard to do. I was a nervous wreck writing up this. We have to get new yes. rating boards. Yes, we do. And those will eventually end up on eBay. Yeah, if anyone wants this decrepit, <laughs> run-down, crappy little... All right, so we board. got a two from Rick, a two, both soft twos from Rick and Brennan, and a number one, a big-ass one for me. Which is an average of less than two. Yeah, so uh, our New Orleans vacation so far has been a disaster. <laughs> I think we almost all got some sort of disease from this room and uh, disease from the, the ladies outside. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, everybody. Goodbye. What are, what are you... Are you still recording? No. Okay, well... Ah! They're still hard! <laughs>